Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to easily set up this sort of a fake 3D presentation. So, uh, as you can see here, I have a scene open. It's a virtual studio and I have a talent there. Um, and let's pretend that this live event, a virtual event, is about launching a new uh, app that has to do with bike rentals. So I'm going to track in here a little bit and we have our talent here, uh, Nora, and she's going to sort of showcase the new app. So boom. Now, as you can see, there is a smartphone that pop up right next to her and it's uh, let's pretend it's showing the new features of the application and whatnot. And I can switch it to something else here. Maybe it has something to do with a uh, payment or maybe with like uh, some features that has to do with online shopping and buy stuff like gear for the bicycle and whatnot. So uh, obviously this is not a real uh, 3D object that's being shown right now. This is simply a video feed. So to feed the video into Eximetry, I am actually using vMix. But of course, you could be using other software such as maybe uh, Resolume, right? But I'm using vMix here and it's really simple to set up. As you can see here, I have three videos, uh, three MOV files, which are uh, the footage of the smartphones with a transparent background and I am sending it to Eximetry via NDI. So here, if you check out my settings, uh, output, see, I have my output set to NDI. So it's, you know, broadcasting a NDI output and I have my settings for the alpha channel set to pre-multiplied. So it's sending the footage with the alpha, with the background keyed out already. All right, and setting this up in Eximetry is actually real simple. Here in your flow editor, you can see here I have a footage of uh, Nora on a green screen and it is hooked up to the test input one. Now, of course, in a real production, this would be your actual uh, camera input with your talent on a green screen. But here in test input two, I have a node called video input and I can right click insert module and search for video input and it's right there. Now, if I select the video input here, you can select the devices that you want to use as the video input. And here I have it set to NDI from vMix output one. So this is the feed coming in from vMix. And if I hold control on the output pin, you can see that this is indeed uh, the video of the smartphone with the transparent background. Now you have to be careful since this is already a transparent background. If you go to your billboards and your input and your keyer, if the keyer is on, it will actually have a black background. So you don't need a keyer anymore because it is already keyed out. And the only thing left to do then is to, you know, select the billboard and uh, position it where you want it to be. So probably next to your talent. And the other thing that you need to be careful with is the visibility option here. As you can see for input two, which is the video of the smartphone here, I have set it to one and two. So it is visible when you are set to camera one and camera two. Since right now I'm using camera one and my talent is in camera one, so I have to make sure that it is also set to visibility on number one. See so if I turn it off, you won't be able to see it anymore. And that's all there is to it, actually. And this kind of setup uh, is really nice because if you think about it, it's just like having a PowerPoint presentation, except it's like way cooler. And it gives the illusion of having uh, things in 3D. So in a real uh, production, you would have an operator with Eximetry on Eximetry, you know, switching the camera angles and all that. And you would have another operator uh, operating vMix or Resolume, whatever is your desired software to, you know, output the video into Eximetry and they will go through uh, like the slides or the videos from the playlist uh, based on the presentation. But if you're more of a solo uh, operator and you want to do everything within Eximetry, you could also do that, especially if you don't actually have that many uh, videos or presentations that you want to play. To do that, I'm going to delete my video input here and I'm going to right click insert module and I'm going to look for a switch video. Here I have a switch video, okay, and I'm going to hook this up to the test input too. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is drag in the three videos that I want to play. And I'm going to hook it up to video one, video two, and video three. And if I select the hamburger, I can actually make everything more neat by closing up the pins. So now it looks a lot more neat. And now I can switch around uh, whichever video that I want. And of course, you can add shortcuts to your keyboard if you want to trigger whichever video that you want to play. And this way, everything is set up within uh, Aximetry. And you know, if you don't have that much manpower in your production, this is a good uh, option. Another thing I want to point out is that if you are not using videos with a transparent backgrounds for your presentation, you could also use videos with a green background. So for example, here I have a soccer ball here with a green background and I can just input it to my test input. And of course, for this kind of workflow, you will need to activate your keyer. So this is another uh, option that you could use. So either a video with a transparent background or a video with a green background. So um, anyway, uh, I hope that was useful and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.